Hey guys, my name is Karen Swanson. I decided to do a voiceover for this makeup tutorial. Um, it will be my first one that I will be uploading, so sorry for the crappiness of it all. I'm still learning. This is literally the first video I've ever done, try to edit any of it, so I apologize for all the shittiness that's about to happen and hit your freaking the Yeah. You can tell I'm great already, huh? Um, so my best friend decided to pretty much tell me that I needed to do a makeup tutorial. So here we go. Um, I'm going in with the Ulta Beauty HD Soft Focus Liquid Foundation and the color Light Cool. Um, I pre-moisturized my face. I don't use primer because every time I do for some reason my cover-up gets super clumpy which is really weird so I need to kind of figure out why it does that um so I pre-moisturized with some vitamin E oil and some Cetaphil whatever it's called moisturizing cream and I do apologize in advance my phone did fall a ton of times because I've got my two kids running around and knocking stuff down. Hashtag mom life. Um, but. Yeah. I had to do a voiceover because I had music playing in the background. And then I had to switch it over to a movie for my kids. Because they were kind of getting bored upstairs in their playroom. I went in with my beauty blender to kind of try to blend it out as evenly as possible. I did just wash my brushes and my beauty sponges. Um, a lot of the products that I do have I got from Ulta. I do shop there a lot so yay me. And my phone like I said keep, keeps falling, kept falling, whatever you want to call it. The whole time I was recording because my son kept walking by. And I get super frustrated and the angles are not cute at all so I apologize. This is literally ridiculous. The annoyance in my face. Not cute. And that's my son running in the background. I don't know if I really like this new foundation or not, honestly. I used to use the MAC matte foundation in F15, I believe. Um, I had been using that for literally almost almost three years, almost four years. Um, but I decided to go ahead and switch it up because the Ulta... Ew, what was I saying? Oh my gosh, literally, I have no brain. But the Ulta Beauty foundation was a lot cheaper. Like, literally half the price. So, I try to pinch pennies when I can. And if you know me, that's not easy, so... So from there on out, I went ahead and got my LA Colors face palette, the contour palette. I went in with a medium darker shade for my cheekbones, my forehead, my jawline, and my nose. I had a Tarte Shape Tape concealer, but I don't know what happened to it. I lost it after my sister's wedding. Um, so, I don't use concealer, because I'm not about to spend another $35 on a tube that's going to go missing in a few months, apparently. So, um, I tried to get the 
kind of where I have the shadowing part of my cheekbones and I try to not go all the way down with that color and then for my nose I I don't know why it came out that dark and I don't know why I let that happen but I try to go lighter like I did on this side where it's more kind of blended versus the harsh line oh my god lord be with me I am a hot mess as a mother so I apologize if you do hear any background noises while I do this voiceover, my daughter already tried to come in and ruin that and then got pissed at me because I told her to leave. And sometimes I do an M shape on my forehead, but usually when I blend it out, I kind of try to just bring it more down in the middle. Um, and then for my jawline, I try to go like right where if I were to have my face forward it kinda because I have a double chin yay me hashtag fat life um kind of where it like is on top of my jawbone but also under it so it's kind of blended out more and then the brush that I used I did clean it, but for some reason it wouldn't. I don't have a specific brush cleaner, but there's like nasty chunks on it. And then I went in with like a blender brush and went ahead and blended all of that out. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through this. So after I blended all of that bronzer out, I went in with my Beauty Notebook Profusion palette um I use their darker it's kind of like a purple black shade for my eyebrows because my natural hair color is black and I used to use the MAC I can't remember what shade it was but their pencil that they had for a while but I like to use this color because it's super dark I like dark colors as it is and I didn't brush out my eyebrow hairs with a spoolie or anything. I just used my fingers because I don't really have eyebrows as it is. So here I am. I'll go ahead and skip through that. Because for some reason I don't know how to look into a camera and do things. So you guys can see the end result. So that was the end result of my eyebrows. They're not twins, they are sisters, so I'm very aware that they don't look the same. And then I went in with my Jaclyn Hill palette. I used, I literally, like, I saved up for so long to get this. I know it's not that expensive, but when you are a stay-at-home mom and living off of a not-so-big income, you try to, you know, do what you can when you can. But I literally love using this for just everyday looks. It's an amazing palette with very soft and neutral colors. You can also do a smoky eye if you really need to or want to. I did also just get the, what is it? The 3503 Morphe palette. Um, what the heck am I, oh, I was putting my nose ring back in. Jeez. I look like a hot mess in this. Holy cow. I was going to fast forward through this part, but now I'm going to go through. Um, I don't know why I showed you guys what brush I was using because it doesn't have a specific number. My husband just ordered me a set of brushes off of Amazon because Chibo is here and I can make anything work, so. Um, I am going in with the shade Silk Cream as my base. So all over my eyelid, literally all over. So again, we're going in with that uh, Silk Cream color from the Jacqueline Hill palette through Morphe. 
um, putting it all over my both eyelids. I don't know why you guys would assume it wouldn't be. I'm stupid. Like I said, my first YouTube tutorial video. So if this is stupid, let me know. And if you guys could give me pointers on different things, that would be awesome because I try to make people happy. I'm a people pleaser. Um, I went ahead and did a second coat and kind of blended that out a little bit more just to make sure it looks decent. And then I'm going to go ahead and go in with the color Creamsicle. That's a very pretty orange color and go over the top of that and only do the top portion of my crease. Just kidding, apparently I'm doing all of it. I'm stupid. I don't even remember. I had to like stop in between half of this. Excuse my stupid dancing, but I was like, what am I doing? My daughter in the background is so funny. Um, but yeah, I went ahead and did all over my lid with the creamsicle. And blended that out and made sure there was no harsh lines anywhere. I'm going to fast forward through this possibly. And then I went in with the shade Hunts and kind of went more on the outer corners of my eyelids. Why did I just say eyelids? I'm fucking stupid. Sorry if I cuss a lot. I tend to do that often. Um, I like to pack it in at first just to make sure that there isn't a ton of fallout. Um, but before I apply any sort of eyeshadow, I tap it off on the side of the palette that I'm using or my little bronzer compact kit because I use that as a mirror because I don't have like a vanity or anything to use. So I am blending that out. I do the wiper, braid, wiper blade motions. I do the circles kind of more towards the outer V of my eyelid and then once I get inwards I go between the wiper blade and the circle motion just to really blend it out. Excuse my annoyed look, my children were throwing things in the background and being super loud. And then stupid music wasn't working. So I'm gonna fast forward through this really quick. So after I fast forwarded through that, I'm just doing the same thing on the other side. Really blending out that Hunt's color, making sure it's blended. I end up sweeping it out to kind of give it that cat eye effect because I don't do eyeliner. I've never been an eyeliner fan. I'm going to practice more before I decide to go ahead and make a YouTube tutorial about that because I need some practice. Um, and then again, doing it on the other side, that swooping motion, making sure they look somewhat even. I was kind of in a hurry because I wasn't paying attention to time. That was me pointing out the fact that I have a bald spot in my freaking eyebrow because I'm me, mom life. I'm going to fast forward through this little part really quick. So going back in with the Jax color, it's right underneath Hunt's. I am going to pack it in the corner and keep it more 
on the outer corner of my eye. I do bring it in over the top a little bit just to blend it and make sure that everything is blended, no harsh lines. I do tap off the brush like I said. Um, excuse my children in the back. This is why I'm doing a voiceover because if you would have so after I went and picked up my husband from his between, lunch and uh, he left, screaming. I ended up I finishing more than I wanted to before my husband called. I and it was just a mess. Decided to record because I was trying to make myself look somewhat decent before I left the house. <laughs> But I am going in with the colors Jax and Soda Pop and mixing them. And just going over that crease again, packing it in the corner and blending it out. And then I will go ahead and fast forward through this next part so you can see what sparkly metallic color I used for my eyelids. So spraying my brush with some setting spray, I went in and grabbed the color Beam, I know you can't see it, but it's the second one in on the top row, and then packed that on just my eyelid, the lower eyelid. To give it more of that metallic-y color. Doing that on both lids. Just packing it on. I didn't rub it on or anything. Just packing it. And that's the end result with that. So going in with a smaller, more compact brush to do my lower lash line. I went ahead and went in with the shade Hunts again and just really got it as close as I could to my inner lower lash line. I don't like going too far in because then my eyes start to water and then the look gets messed up but everybody's different and can handle different things but like I said my eyes get super watery when I do this I'm gonna fast forward into the next step and show you the finished product with both lower lash lines done so I did go in again underneath of that Hunts color with the Soda Pop color and right below the first line that I did and that's just me blending it out. Um, but I wanted to kind of have it whoops, blend in with more of the top because I like that more smoky shade. And smoky look and I used to not ever do eyeshadow on my bottom lids not bottom lids I'm stupid my lower lash line um but now that I did it I cannot go back so I'm going in again with obsessed and I'm just putting a little bit on my fingers and going over the top part of that metallic color the beam and just going over up just kidding. Wait, what did I use? Oh, I used in light on the inner corners of my lashes. And then went in with, I believe I did Obsessed on my lid over the top of Beam. I'm gonna fast forward through this part because I'm just blending it out, making sure there's no harsh lines. So going in with my Morphe setting spray, I'm just spraying my face to go ahead and apply my 
highlighter which I have it in a Ziploc baggie because it broke off and it's the Too Faced I can't remember exactly what shade but it's more like the peachy tone shade um, I believe it's $32 at Ulta but look at that glow I literally am obsessed with this color and I'm trying to like make it last as long as I can I don't do my makeup every single day so it kind of helps but I literally love how much it shines like watch on this side it's so beautiful I literally love it so much like oh yeah look at that And moving forward to my nose, I always highlight my cheekbones, my temples, the tip of my nose, the bridge of my nose, a little bit on my forehead. Like, look at that. I don't have a big nose as it is, but I literally, I'm in love with this highlighter. And then I always do my cubic bow. And then my chin as well, just to even it out. So I'm going in with my eyelash curler just to start my eyelashes. I use the Lash Blast Volume, the orange container. I don't use waterproof, I just use the regular one. Um, I just ran out of my Better Than Sex Too Faced mascara, so I'm just using this because I know there was a little bit left in there from the last time I used it. And next we're going to apply lashes. I do put lots of layers on. I know you probably shouldn't, but especially before you apply on fake lashes, but I recently just had lash extensions, so a lot of my eyelashes are gone because I have a bad habit of picking at them and getting them out and stuff. Here's more of a closer view of my eyeshadow. My blending job still needs work, honestly, but you know what? It's better than nothing. I'm gonna fast forward to the part where I apply the lashes. Eyelid. So this part of the video, I literally hate it when I do that. And of course I do it every single time. I know everybody has problems doing that at least once in your life. But you know how frustrating it can be. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip and fast forward to the applying lashes part of this video. I just wanted to show you guys. So back again after I wiped off that little piece. Sorry, my son's seen birds and he literally loves looking out our window, looking at birds. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my false lashes now. So I went in with the Kiss eyelash glue and I applied it to my lashes. I was trying to get it to focus and for some reason it, it just wouldn't focus. And I am terrible at applying false lashes as it is in like the mirror that I have in my bathroom, but in my little compactable mirror, it was even worse. Um, I'm gonna skip to the part where I actually got it done because I had to reapply the first one because I messed up. And I don't use the tweezers to apply my false lashes. Everybody is different. Um, you use what you need to use to go ahead and make yourself more comfortable putting the falsies on. I have to use my fingers because I cannot have anything that sharp near my eyeballs it scares the living crap out of me so that was after the 
mess up incident that I had before and I always pinch them onto my actual lashes because I don't wear eyeliner so I try to make it look as natural as I possibly can um, before I apply the lashes I of course cut them to the length that I need them and then I apply the eyelash glue on the fake lashes and blow on it until it's tacky and then I put them on and go ahead and squeeze them on. And then going in with the other lash, again applying them with my fingers, squeezing them onto the actual lashes because I do not put any kind of eyeliner on my top lids. I don't even do my bottom lids anymore. Bottom lids, geez, lord be with me in my lower lash line. I don't apply any kind of eyeliner at all. I used to, but it irritated my eyes, so now I no longer do that. Um, but I like to press on them just to kind of make sure they aren't moving. I don't even know what I'm talking about in this. But yeah. For me, I felt really accomplished that they looked as good as they did after I messed up as many times as I did. So we're going to go ahead and go into, I believe I am going to put on my, yep, my Kylie lip kit in the shade Boss. I literally love this red. I have, I'm obsessed with this color red. When I first seen her come out with this, I almost cried because I am a very bright red lipstick girl. I just love the color red as it is. So the shade when she came out with it was perfect for me. Um, I always do before I apply the matte lipsticks. I apply a lot of either Carmex or any kind of chapstick really to just really moisten up my, not moisten, people didn't like that word Karen, Lord be with me, freaking hydrate my lips because I don't drink as much water as I possibly should during the day and so my lips are really dry and especially during the winter time I, my lips crack so bad. But I do a couple layers of that and I'll jump forward to the finishing product. So I do go in again over my eyelashes with some more mascara just to kind of bind them more and make them look more natural versus them being separated. So finishing off my look, I go in again with some setting spray just to refresh in my face. I love using it. And this is my finishing look. So I hope you guys love it. <laughs> 